we shall do a core cavity extraction for this plastic part it's a simple plastic part we don't have any we don't need to have any side cores lifter assemblies it's just a simple core and cavity this is what we need for this one okay now we'll see how best that we can do in extraction for this go to new manufacturing mold cavity assign the suitable name click on ok the units take it as mmns manufacturing mold abs click on ok select the reference model select a suitable model same model click on ok preview it before you may accept yes the pull direction and the core cavity movement direction are aligned click on ok ok yes this is what we need now is the workpiece click on workpiece automatic workpiece select the mold origin then we shall have the length we are having with 165 We'll take it off around thirty mm. Any form of split. Okay. This is what it is. Review correct. Okay. Now before accepting, what I'll do? I'll create some chamfer for this. Go for round item. Select the edges. Just to ensure that our core cavity extraction will be having with some. Rounds and chamfers, eliminating the sharp edge. Let's click on the okay. Then Control G to come out from the model. Right. Click on the block. Now I have done. I have created my reference model, and then it is the workpiece. Now I will. assign the shrinkage click on shrinkage shrinkage by scale one select on the find icon find now this is the cover what we are looking for add it close and i'll add the shrinkage value 0.0025 Go to shrinkage information. Cross check whether the shrinkage has been added. Correct. Shrinkage by scale is the command activated. And yes, we are there. Okay. Next is we click on the come out from this command. Control A. Control G activate command. Now I'll just click on my load curve command. You could see that there are Rio has identified a line all over the part. It is also taking some lines on the other surface, which I don't want to see. So what we will do now is. Just click on the workspace. I need it, okay. and then I shall also click. See, we want to have our part. This is the parting line, and we need to have the parting line only on this entity. Whereas in the shallot curve, the the crea is also taking the unwanted surfaces like. This all surfaces which I don't want to see, which I see all this surface. You can see over here, one, two, one, here, here, and here. We don't want this entity. So here, what we'll do? We'll click, click on Edit, and go to Loop Selection. This is the identity entity we want. Select F, select all. Then click on Explore. Okay. See.
Yes, this is the entity what this is our line. is right pull direction assigned pull direction is correct Create molding. Click on blank and then blank. Select on the items which we don't want to. I don't want to see this part. I want to see.